Welcome to Multiplays i31 and the Samsung THQ Arena. Next up on stage, we have the Counter-Strike Source Final. Please welcome onto the stage, make a big noise for the finalists, Four Kings and Fnatic. Okay, joining me on the commentary for this one is Ben Houdini Hodder. Hello, Ben. All right, Paul, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, you've actually followed some of the uh, Source uh, tournament through to its final conclusion. You did the uh, lower bracket and some of the upper bracket games, so presumably you're in the best position to tell us how these two clans actually reached the final. Yeah, I am, I am indeed. Um, well, Fnatic started out 1-3, drew 1 against Zboard. Quite a surprising score, 15-0 on Contra. However, Fnatic, you know, don't necessarily play that map, and they went through to the upper bracket. Well, managed to win every single round so far. Their biggest, well, test against Four Kings, and they, well, annihilated them 16-9 earlier on and well four kings then going down to the lower bracket and in the consolation final facing off against seaboard managing to beat them 16 to uh, 16 to 8 yesterday on cpl mill i believe it was and well these two teams going to the final it's the match everyone has anticipated and i'm thoroughly looking forward to this one we Paul. Are indeed about to go live finally then for the grand final of multiplays i31 counter strike source cup fanatic going up against four kings we'll see four kings starting off on T side, and we'll start with them as well. They've already gone for the five man down along. In fact, we're going to get knife round first, so a bit of hack and slash to start us off just to decide sides. I thought they'd already decided that, but we'll see. All the way down to A then. And the bludgeoning begins with Henry G, and Jono gets another one. Hughes in with another third. Four Kings already up. Three to one. There's three to two. Desertion getting two in a row. And it's only at the multiplayer I series you get to commentate on knife rounds. It's, uh, it's a bit of a change. Not the uh, other tournaments don't really run the knife rounds in public to give us a chance to see the hack and slash. Just one man left. Let's go to him right now. And we are with Prof, who's just waiting outside Long A doors. And finally, we'll get a bludgeon from, from Henry G. And that will be that. 4K winning the knife round. Indeed, they've decided to stay on the T side here. It's going to be interesting to see what strategy they are going to use. I'm guessing it's going to be, well, it's obviously going to be an eco round as they don't have the funds. They're probably going to go for a B rush, maybe even do what four kings like to usually do. One to four split. Henry G head to those B tunnels. The other four maybe just head towards long A, try and get a few picks. Once someone has got a pick, then rotate around, maybe to short, maybe all the way back to B and make the push for four kings. We're just waiting for this to uh, move on here and then we'll get this one underway. Both teams starting to say they're ready. And of course the rosters one more time. Four Kings, Henry G, Husey, Jono, URL and Haz. Of course, if you're wondering why Haz is in the roster, that is because he replaced Richie, who left the team a few weeks ago. Fnatic, Air Raid, Dark Zershin, Prof and Blaze. And the game now, Paul, is gonna be underway here in the pistol round. Okay, here we go then with the match live. Fnatic versus Four Kings, for real this time round. And we will start off with Henry G, who will split two down to long A by the looks of things. Actually, leave one at the T spawn. Henry G now going down towards long A, just taking a very slow walk towards those doors. He's got three over at the big corridors right now as well. As we wait with Jono, just up by the cart right now. They're not making any push so far. It's a very slow bomb on the hands of Jono right now. And time is ticking down. No commitment from either side so far. Let's just look across the map and see if we can spot anyone making a move. They've got a fake down. Oh, they've managed to make their way into long A here with Husey as well. So they have managed to push along long A. They've got two men up there. They flashed and grenaded down towards the site. That's the diversion, I would have thought. No push here from URL down through the B corridor. So that diversion going on at A. They want to try and lock that A bomb site down before they make that push. And that's exactly what they've done as well. They've done very well to get in there, Ben. But they've only got two men in there and they're not with the bomb. Indeed, that is a problem, and now the rest of Four Kings moving into those B tunnels. One of them has the bomb. Dark will be the first frag on to Henry G. Fnatic with the advantage, but Four Kings decide to push into the B site. Flashes coming through. Frags exchanged. Has with one air raid replying. And now this is in Fnatic's favour. Exertion onto Husey, and Darky coming around taking down Has. Darky finishes off the round for Fnatic, and they are going to win the crucial pistol round, and that means, Red, that they're going to probably get the next few rounds as they have the buy. So you're going to see SMGs bought by Fnatic on this CT side. As you see, Famas in the hand of Prof. 
The rest of Four Kings are going to be on an eco round again, and it looks like they're going for a five-man push to B red. Yep, five-man indeed, all the way down to B. After losing the initial pistol round, Dahi picking out three frags in the first round for a nice hat-trick. And they've made the rotation through B tunnels, back up towards the cat. They picked off one, Pross picked up one with the Famous through the doors. And they've rotated all the way through to long A. This is a long rotation route. And they at least are trying to put up some resistance. Some of these teams don't tend to take the second round in. Oh, it's a lovely shot from Zersha. Gets one, two, three in a row, all from the Famous. And that leaves just one man remaining. Let's try and find him right now. It's Jono who's with Glock in hand. He's going to make a run for it. No point in trying to save that gun, my friend. Is he will now rotate back towards the cat. Bomb is already down. I believe they dropped that bomb in long A. So they are going to have to do an awful lot of work to try and get back into this. We've got 5v1. There's no chance of winning this one, Ben. And uh, what do you do in this situation? Well, if I was Johnny, I'd set up, pour some exit kills, try and get a bit of extra money with some frags. He's absolutely got no chance. And as you see, Prof finishes him off with a nice headshot. And that is going to be the round in favor of Fnatic. 2-0 to zero is going to be the score. Top fraggers only after two rounds. Zershin, 4-0, to zero, picked up the hat trick there. And Four Kings are probably going to be on an eco round once again, as you see they are. Though, saying that, throughout this tournament, they have a lot of the time bought on the third rounds. Gone for those AKs, not to be the case. And it looks like Four Kings now going for that 4-1 split. Once again, Henry G is going to be by himself. Jono's heading B tunnels. And the Four Kings push now through double doors. They're just stalling for a wee seconds. Several have gone through. Just blocks in hand, not much use. And Prof with a double early on. Henry G replies. And then Air Raid, of course, at that B site with several Blaze replying onto Haz. Oh. And then Fnatic just tear four kings to absolute pieces. Three to zero is the score. But really, this is game on now. Yep, game on now. Round four, chance to buy for 4K. They uh, did manage to pick up a couple of guns in that round. At least Henry G found himself a gun. But he wasn't able to do anything at all with it. Got himself trapped in by the boxes by CT Spawn. And wasn't even able to get a fire, uh, one shot off from that. Famous that he picked up. So here come 4K. We've got a two-man push through long A here. Henry G leading the way. He's on point. There's a man just behind him as well. We can't see him right now. We're following Henry G. Just looking at the boxes stacked up, looking down into the pit. And I think he has spied one player down. There is one down there as well. And we'll now try and flash him out. One, two, three flashes go. Counter flash comes back from him as well, which will stop them moving in quickly. They're still pinned back down in there. Let's see what we've got going on on the other side of the map. Has actually has the AWP trained up on the... Angles looking back towards a cat and the bomb tossed down just in front of him as well. Here goes Has got one man just in front of him, Jono to the side of him. So he has some support here on the cat. Here comes Susie, bomb in hand, AK primed and ready. Hasn't found himself a single fanatic CT player so far. They move in towards the bomb site and still haven't found a single player. Jono comes up with an AWP on Zershan. Air Raid replies with the M4. Here comes Susie Husey, though, not able to get a shot off. Air Raid comes up with another one, Darky with another one. Blaze coming in from behind as well, down to 15 health but they have a man advantage here. Jono sitting down in the pit at long A, and this one will be a big ask for him to get all the way back down to A and get that bomb planted. It was in the hands of Husey at the bomb site when he was gunned down. Jono all by himself. He has clutched once here at the ice series. Against Seaboard, it was an epic clutch indeed. One versus three. Can he do the same once again? That time it was on, I think it was uh, Mill. Or was it on Nuke? Not too sure. But Jono, can he do the same? 58 health. He is pretty much screwed. Fnatic with three alive, and well, Johnny, the, the wise thing to do here is just to save oh. his weapon and try and get exit picks. He gets one close. Can he get another? He's just waiting for Fnatic to rotate. Air Rage is going to sit at that site with that up. He's going to save it as well, and it's going to be a 4-0 score now in favour of Fnatic. And well, that was the first round. 4-4 four, four Kings. They had the chance. They had the buy. It wasn't meant to be though, and we're going to see a 4-0 leads. Yep, chance for them to buy didn't work out in that fourth round. So Fnatic going very nicely. Thank you very much so far on CT side here on Dust 2. Charge here. Looks like there's a couple of Mondegal buys only. They will have one. Oh, Prof with a double AWP through the door. Gets a third one as well. And three of them gone down. Henry G, URL, all gone. And they left two men back. They've got one man with an AWP, one man with a Deagle. But he'll go for the fourth one. Oh, has picked off a brilliant shot on Prof though. Long range with a Deagle and gets the headshot, the grenades come flying through as well, he's down to 10 health, he's got a real struggle to try and get in, a flash comes in as well, the counter goes out, but it was a little bit too late, he's lost himself, and finally the flash has worn off, they're also getting in each other's way here, trying to force their way into the B bomb site. still with a couple of shots being fired off, perhaps for diversionary purposes, and are they going to try and save this AWP, I don't believe they're going to make a push here, air raid in wait for them, there is one man just starting to sneak into the bomb site. air raid waiting by the car, 
Here he comes, creeping forward through the box, might get the kill here, and easily gets the kill. And Jono will lose that AWP, and Darkie will finish things off. But Ben, it was the opening from Prof with the AWP in B that really, really gave Fnatic that win in round five. Yeah, that double up shot, absolutely fantastic. Finished it up with a third, and then it was easy pickings for Fnatic. And well, four kings were on a Deagle save, so you could say it was quite an easy round for Fnatic. But once again, we're probably going to see four kings now on the buy. No, they're not. They're going for another Deagle save, and they're going to rush straight down into the B tunnels, heading into that B site. Hughes is going to be third. Fnatic, Prof with one once again. Prof with a double, picking up two, just like he did in that fifth round. Blaze and Air Age, picking up the rest, oh. and Prof gets the third. Absolutely fantastic by Fnatic there. Four kings, absolutely no chance whatsoever. But Red, they're going to have a buy this round for sure. And well, this is four kings. Are they going to turn it on and get around on the board? Because they are, well, they're in definite need of one. I right, need to connect to the server right now. 6 0 down without money for the last two rounds. I had a little bit of money on that last round, but chose not to buy so they could buy fully this round rather than go down three rounds in succession. So they're going to have to make this one pay. They really need to come up with something a little bit different here if they're going to get into the bomb site. So far, though, they're not getting any money, any change out of prof at the B bomb site. He's had a hat trick in the last round, a hat trick in the previous round, as well as a double AWP. And uh, really, when he's in that kind of tasty form, you really don't want to be taking him on when he has that AWP in hand. Let's see what they've got this time round. A URL has broken through. Oh, he's going to surprise one of the CT players who uh, was just covering long A and looking away from him. He's broken through that middle area, decides to go back through the double doors and double back towards the support. Prof yet again picks up another one, but finally they get rid of him. Has this time, deals him a blow with the AK-47. Has will break into the B bomb site and take down Blaz by the car as well. And that's two gone. They have the control in the B bomb site right now. And Henry G's come up with a kill on Zertion. Another one from Henry G. They've got one man remaining now, which will be Darkie, who is now making a hasty run for T spawn, I would guess, to try and stay away from this one. And finally, 4K are able to get one round on the board. They are indeed. That B push worked out very nicely indeed. They managed to get the bomb down for the first time in six rounds. And that is uh, something very good for four kings. And now they're just going to wait and set up for some exit kills. Darky all by himself. He wanna, he's going to want to keep that M4A1. The Colt is a valuable weapon. And when you go on the full buy, it costing around three and a half to four thousand dollars. So he's definitely want to keep that. The bomb is ticking away very slowly here. And this is going to be a six to one score. And as you hear the bomb, it's going to explode. But our four kings going to get any exit kills onto Darky. Darky's going to sit there and just wait the round out. The score is going to be six to one here in favor of Fnatic. Prof leading the score, but look at that 11 to three. What is that? That's a 3.75 frag rate. Darky just behind six and one. And four kings are going to be happy to have finally got one on the board, Red. Yes, one on the board finally then. No problem for Fnatic, they'll still have plenty of money. They set themselves up in the B bomb site. We're following 4K right now. URL already made that push through the double doors at Long A. He's got a man for support just on the right-hand side of him as well, who is Henry G. So before this match, we were expecting them to play some 4-1 splits, but they haven't done that so far. They're going for the two threes, and Henry G and URL teaming up are here at Long A. Jono's come up with one shot across the other side of the map on Dark. He plays back in with a nade kill this time on Jono's Revenge. And we're at 4v4 as Henry G and URL find themselves all the way along Long A. But are they going to fake this one and go back? No, they're not. It looks like Henry G does want to push forward. He's thrown his gun down. And uh, URL's standing in front of him. He actually wanted to throw the bomb away there. So slight mistake. But it won't worry. And it won't cause them any grief. They're just throwing it across there. And for those of you who don't follow Counter-Strike Source too often, one of the reasons they're throwing that bomb across that area is because it's very easy to get gunned down through that tunnel leading back from CT spawns. So and that's why they've thrown the bomb. There goes the jump from URL. You saw him get clipped as well and actually got taken down by Prof, who now does pick up that bomb. He'll now rush into the B bomb site with 35 seconds remaining, enter the code and get that bomb planted at the A bomb site right now. They have a push now coming back from Fnatic. They've managed to deal with Husey as well. So they've got one more man to find, which will be Henry G. Zertion with the kill. They push two men up on the cat, they get one kill, couldn't get the second though. And Zertion will go in, they'll have Air Raid coming up behind and he'll be able to defuse this bomb without any trouble with the kit. And that'll be 7-1 to Fnatic. It's been a very impressive start, Ben. It has indeed. Complete molestation from Fnatic on absolute fire here. And while well, Forkings Henry G couldn't get another one versus three clutch like he did twice in the first four rounds against Seaboard in that consolation final, and of course, in that upper bracket round four as well. So what are Fnatic gonna do this round? Looks like a normal strategy coming in. Two, two, one, split one, watching mid, two, covering both bomb sites. Let's follow the tease of Four Kings though. Hughes is gonna uh, head towards B tunnels with that AK in hands. Four Kings have mixed things up. Obviously, didn't wanna give anything away to Fnatic in the pre-match, so their usual one, four split on every single map they use. Henry G always goes on his lonesome, 
and the rest try and get a few picks and then move in. They've decided not to do that. And well, it looks like Four Kings are setting up here for a B push URL with one onto Blaze. And now he's going to be moving, picks up the double. Now it's a five versus three situation. Going to head to that window. Can he break into the site? He has. Husey with the frag onto Air Raid. And this is definitely going to be Four Kings round here. Henry G finishes off Sertion. And now it is all up to Darkie. Can he do the unthinkable? Probably not. Gets one onto Henry G. But the wise thing to do in this situation is just to go and save your weapon and let the score be 7-2. Because Colts, well, they are pretty expensive. And he's now going to set up for some exit kills with only three health on the board pool. Yeah, another round then added for 4K after the double from URL opened them up and gave them the in towards the B site. Make it 7-2 after nine rounds. Six more to go this half. And I would presume that URL and Four Kings really need to step this one up and get themselves back into the game in terms of round wins, if not in due to the way that they're playing, because they played reasonably well in the last three rounds. Just those early rounds when they were 6-0 down was didn't really come up with any mixed strats, but they've now come up with some entries and some entry kills, actually got them into the bomb sites and got those bombs down. So they're now starting to work out where Fnatic are setting themselves up, and the kills from Prof really haven't come through, despite that two rounds in a row where he picked up a hat-trick in each round. Hasn't really done an awful lot since. They've started to avoid him and take him down early. That's what they can do in round 10. Still, all of them, four of them, through the middle area are here. Just one man sitting back. And perhaps causing some diversion. A grenade went round there. I think that was actually a 4K grenade, but nevertheless, it didn't take any health off Hughes. There's one man pushing in towards the bombsite. Grenade comes down from below CT spawn. Zersion's come up with the first killer around with the M4 as Husey pushes in towards this A bomb site right now. They've got Blaze across the other side of the map defending the B bomb site. So is Prof. Zersion's managed to make his way all the way back to T spawn. Blaze picks up the kill on URL as they're now desperately trying to search for Jonna who's now about to put a bomb down at the bomb site. And they've got three men in here to try and protect this one. And this one's going to be a tough ask from Fnatic. They have to come up with some really big kills and very quickly. And Air Raid just with four health sits back. Blaze comes up with the first kill into the bomb site. That's Husey gone and dealt with. Got to find another one. Zershin in with a kill on Jono. And just last man standing will be Haz. Let's see if we can find him. And oh, Grenade comes round the corner just as we joined him from Prof. Great guess. Nate kills Haz. Bomb gets defused. And Fnatic round up with another round. It's eight to two now. Four Kings definitely looking nervous there. They had the upper hands at that A site, but they couldn't hold it. Fnatic rotating very nicely indeed. Getting the kills and perfect set nades, winning the round for them. And now we're going to see an 8-2 score. And Fnatic are halfway there to winning the Counter-Strike Source tournament here at I-31 and taking away £2,000. Of course, second place, they will walk away with 1000 so that's 200 for each of them. Air Age going aggressive down mid. URL has played that position quite a lot so far in this game. Air Raid with a frag onto Jono, so Four Kings down a man once again. Husey looks like he's going to pull out of B tunnels. Are Four Kings going to push in that direction or head somewhere else? Blaze going aggressive. Might not be the wise thing to do, but he's going to see one. Orp shot coming. Misses Blaze, though. And now he's going to take a HE. And it doesn't seem to have done much damage whatsoever. He's going to retreat. He's really taken it to Four Kings here. URL pushing up short. He's down to 19 health in a bit of a tricky situation. Sees one there, lower B, air raid, with a nice shot onto URL, and then exertion onto Henry G, out those double doors down long A. So this is definitely gonna be Fnatic's round. And as you see, air raid just taking his time. And the rest of Fnatic, well, they have this one in the bag. They're gonna go aggressive, try and pick off four kings, who of course are on a buy. It's all up to Husey, Blaze, finally onto Haz, and now Husey is pretty much screwed. But a nice shot coming in there, and he's down to 75. And well read, he has got absolutely no chance. Yeah, does seem as if Fnatic ramped this one up with ease. Last few seconds of the round, actually 25 seconds of the round. And Husey's just trying to hold on to his gun right now. He's got a lot of uh, defending to do here because they're all going to try and hunt him down to get rid of that last gun. And that'll pretty much put them onto an eco round. Yes, it, there, there it is, Zershin with the last one. He'll come in, make sure he's got a gun for the next round as well. So no guns for 4K, no money for 4K. And uh, they're in desperate need of a financial advisor with a loan. For round 12, they'll uh, not be on a buy this round. Maybe Deagles only. Yeah, there was a couple of Deagles between them. I saw at least three of them were Deagles. And Husey splits off going for B. The rest of them have all gone long A. So here comes your round. Actually, he has got a gun. So he did manage to buy. And they've, they've actually pulled, up, uh, pulled out a, uh, a Galil here as well. So they, this will be their last buy round. They really have to come up with something special. And that's exactly what Haz has done. Headshot in on Zershin. They've got rid of two down here at long A. URL doubling back through the double doors. He has the bomb in hand as well. They're causing all sorts of grief down at the long A pit with Henry G. Meanwhile, URL heading back around the cat to try and come back into the A bomb site. 
still waiting. Hasn't seen anyone so far. The other members are rotating all the way through T-Spawn, back towards the B corridors to cause some more diversions. And you're around now. Is he going to follow them? He is going to follow them back through T-Spawn. So a nice rotation here from 4K, having picked up a couple of big kills, going long A, and fooled us, and they've certainly fooled Fnatic. Fnatic must have thought they were on an eco and pushed in quickly. Losing two of those members very quickly indeed. Now here comes the push for B bombsite. They've got Prof in this bombsite as well. They'll almost certainly have two other men just standing by the door and one by the cart. So they'll have this bombsite wrapped up and closely guarded, which means they've completely left the A bombsite alone. So let's see where the 4K can work that one out. They still haven't committed to a bombsite here. You're around with that bomb in the mid, in the mid uh, area. And again, decides he's going to go back through the B corridors. Blaze now has actually come up with a shot on Jono. And Blaze again in with Haz. Has taken down Haz. And the URL again changes his mind. He's going to run out of time if he's not careful here. 13 seconds remaining. And a Galil shot from Henry G. Blaze gets rid of two more. Hughes and Henry G have gone. Blaze with the AWP. And URL now running out of time. Five, four. He's going to have a very, very, very close one to get this one down. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Zero on the bomb. And he just about gets the bomb planted. And URL has done an amazing job to get that bomb down but he now has to go 1v1 with Blaze, and he actually has the advantage here in terms of power, and URL clutches the round for 4K with a brilliant bomb, pl uh, bomb plant right on the zero mark, and comes up with the kill, and 9-3 is the score with 4K pulling that one out of the bag. That was magical. It was indeed URL. Very nice play, but let's highlight how fantastic Blaze did there. One versus three situation. Got two nice AWP shots, couldn't connect with the third URL finishes him off nicely, and that is going to make a 9-3 to score in favour of Fnatic, who are now only oh, seven rounds away from winning it, and has with an early pick onto Prof, and now has that exposed that B site, 4 King's going to push straight in to the site, flashes over the top, Arid with one, with two, oh, it's actually Blaze who got the frag, Henry G replying, and now 4 King's just have to get that bomb down, Exertion replying onto URL, as you see Henry G with that bomb plant, and now... It is all up to Fnatic to irritate and get oh. into that side and get the defuse. Henry G with one to Darkie. Husey and his friendly. So now it is a two on two situation. Husey and Henry G, 62 and 100 health versus Exertion's 100 and Air Raid's 100. Now it's all up to Air Raid. He's got to push through those B tunnels. Sees one. Can he pull off the clutch? Flash grenade coming in. He manages to evade it. HE down to 88. Sees one, gets the first pick. Can he pull off a one versus two clutch here? He's going to go for the defuse. He flashes. Henry G moves in. And Henry G is going to knife. Oh! oh! Takes the Michael there and manages to finish off Air Raid in style with a knife kill. And well, that has really set the tone for this game here. 9 4 score. Four Kings with two in a row. And Henry G now 14 to 11. And well, that is going to really have annoyed Fnatic there as they went for the defuse. Great start from Henry G. Just as you think. It's all over for them in that particular round. And to have the balls to come up with that kind of knife kill as well is absolutely brilliant. Great showmanship from Henry G. And Fnatic down and out and losing the round again. 9-4 then. This time round, Profs already come up with one. They might even be able to save him. No, they're not. Air Raid comes up with another round four. Air Raid with the second one in a row through the double doors. And that's got rid of uh, Henry G and Husey as well. URL in with one kill and on Blaze though. They've got two men protecting this B bomb site. Let's go and see if we can find URL. And he is inside the bomb site. Will now creep towards the door. Actually, he's not creeping at all. He's actually moving in very quickly. Shot down into the back of Zersh. He was going up through the window. He's being shot at from the tree just outside that beef site. He's, he's switched. Oh, completely blind. Air Raid comes back in. And Darkie got the clear, uh, kill on Jono as well. And Fnatic restore normal order and lead by 10 to 4. One more round to go before the half. This is definitely on like Donkey Kong. 10 to 4. Like I said, is the score. Air Raid, top fragger in the server. 15 to 5. Three frag rate, and of course this is the last round of the half, so you're going to see both teams on a full buy here, buying every single weapon, buying deagles, smoke grenades, Kevlar helmets, flashes, and let's see what the terrorist side of four kings are going to do, they've got a four man outside that long A, deagle save, they're on soap, they don't have weapons to buy, and well, on a deagle save, they have it all to do here, flashes coming in at short, and now the four king push here with those deagles, moving into that A site, can they pull off something miraculous? Possibly not. Well, probably not, considering they have Deagles, and now Husey going to drop down. And the rotation coming from Fnatic. URL sitting just at the side. Exertion with one. He's on a Deag as well, taking down Henry G. Exertion with his second blaze with a third with the M4. And this is going to be Fnatic's round. We are going to see an 11-4 to half. It is now all up to Husey. Here's the last player alive. Four Hawkings, not for much longer. 
Blaze is going to drop in with a Colt, and we're going to see an 11 to 4 half time. And well, Four Kings moving on to that CG side, they still have it all to do there, Red. They do have an awful lot of work to do when they switch over. It was indeed. Well, we've got to highlight the fact for Fnatic, Prof was on fire, using that up at that B bomb site. Got so many frags helping his team, but of course, Exertion and Blaze with several frags too. Um, I was quite, quite disappointed with how a Dark is played. Of course, I've seen him online many a time. He always kicks ass, but hasn't really turned it on so far at this ice series. But Four Kings, let's highlight Henry G, phenomenal player. Has as well, stand again. He never PCW'd before he got to this land with this team. Well, of course, the experience last week. So he's done pretty well as well. But we are going to go live here, Red, in the second half. 11 to 4 score in favour of Fnatic. Yep, here we go then. We are underway. A couple of shots coming out from the Glock of Air Raid from T Spawn. It's Husey with the first killer of the round, though, with Darky with the USP. They've broken through Long A. Very aggressive stance here from 4K as they come flying through Long A doors. And that wasn't expected at all from Fnatic. They were sat there with three players in. T spawn. They flashed over by the tree right now. They might pick up another couple of kills. Here goes Air Ray. He's going to try and get one. Zershan though with one. But Haz is coming in very strong here. He's picked up two frags in a row. And now Air Ray backing away. There's only two of them remaining as well. So they what are they going to try and do here? They haven't really moved at all. And uh, well, finally they're going out with a crossfire. But Hughes, he comes up with a phenomenal round. Three in the round. He actually got two in a row there as well. He was being ganged up on with a brilliant crossfire set up by Fnatic, but it, they weren't able to shut him down. And Hughesy comes up with a brilliant double kill right at the end of the round and picks up 4K's first round, which really does set them up for the next two. Oh, it definitely does indeed. We're probably going to see an 11 to 7 score in favour of Fnatic after these next two rounds, unless Fnatic can pull off something special. And it looks like Fnatic are going to go for a five man down short. As you see, they've oh. got one there. Dark will be the first pick onto Haz. And now it has like, totally exposed that bomb site. Henry G picking up the double though. Two for Nightjot with the third, using that for Mass to full force. URL with the fourth. This is going to be a 4K round here. It is all up to Ares. <laughs> Not for much longer. Good night, Vienna, to you, my friend. You are going to get dropped. 11 to 6 is the score. And now it is a five point game. And we'll probably see another round in favor of Four Kings to make it 11 to 7. Nice entry frag on the way through the A catwalk, but it wasn't to be for Fnatic. They will be presumably on another save. Yes, indeed they are. Just watching through Air Raid. Now he's got uh, two men with him as well, and the bomb man as well. They've managed for a 3-2 split here. Three going towards the B tunnel. He's not making any particular push just yet, so let's go and find out where the other two. Darky waiting through the centre. They've smoked that middle area as well. And that's to try and stop the orc coming through the double doors. There was a man down there now. Is the flash going to go through quickly? Yes, it is. They're going to make a push through here. But uh, has again, well, that Famous is showing real power here. He's going to get two down there as well. URL actually picked up the frag in the end. And Zershan, he does get the kill eventually on URL. But Henry G back in for the revenge frag. And Prof now going in towards the bomb site. Does manage to get into the bomb site. Not going to make it happen, though. Has and Jono combined. And 4K are going to make swift work of round three in the second half. And we are, as Ben said. At an 11-7 scoreline. This is the first round for Fnatic. They're on the buy on the T side. As you see, AK is being bought. There's a, I think it's Prof with an AWP, so he's going to be watching mid. URL is going to be very careful not to get picked off. And as he's got an AWP as well, he's got to make sure Prof doesn't get the pick. Let's have a find where the Fnatic team are. Looks like there's plenty of action in those B tunnels. HE is coming in air raid, manages to evade that one though. The first pick in this round is going to be so important. If Fnatic get it, then they're probably going to rotate to the other side, maybe even push, and then we'll see what's going to happen. Prof trying to get a pick through the door, can't quite do so. Husey pretty aggressive down short. Air Raid with the first, though, onto Jono. Let's find out where that went down. I'm guessing it was towards B, of course, lower B tunnels. So maybe he took down the short A player, 4-4 four, four Kings. And now Air Raid is going to take his time. One minute left on the clock, of course. Fnatic only five rounds away from walking with that £2,000 here at the Ice Series. And well, this one's pretty slow, isn't it, Red? Exertion down at long eight with that AWP in Prof's hands as well. They've got three men along long eight here. In fact, four of them have all made their way. There's a shot through the uh, smoke. Exertion gets one, gets a second. And now Fnatic really do have a chance to nail this bomb site and get that bomb planted. Prof covering the tunnels back towards CT Spawn. Hughesy has picked up one frag on Blaze. Still, in fact, has that Famous on him. So he's had a great first three rounds. Hasn't, hasn't had to buy another weapon, so he'll have plenty of cash after this round, regardless of the outcome. Air with another kill this time. Headshot in on Hughesy. Fnatic locking down the bomb site. URL is last man standing here with the AWP as well. He's picked that up, probably from Prof. I can't believe he actually bought that one himself. So he's looking down towards T spawn right now for any of the exit kills, but this should be a Fnatic round. First one on the board moves them a step closer to victory. Remember, they only need one map. 
from this grand final. Four Kings looking for two. And there we are, bomb explodes. They win the round. Are they going to get the pick before time runs out? No, they're not. So you're around managing to save the IWP. He'll we'll throw that one away for one of his teammates. Well, maybe he won't. Maybe he'll keep it. Doesn't look as if they've got an awful lot of money between them, but I think they will just about be able to buy. Air Raid certainly being able to buy now, and they're going to flash Long A. Actually, it looks as if we might get a charge here through Long A. There's four men going, and this is what we were talking about before. In fact, four kings doing 4-1 splits, and now Fnatic doing the same, Ben. Seems to be the trend these days with the pro teams. And Air Raid's coming back, he's going to drop the bomb. So it looks like a complete rotation coming from Fnatic, maybe towards that B site. Air Raid's going to try and get a pick, but Husey replying onto Exertion. Prof with the first frag for Fnatic of the round, onto Has. Prof, of course, down in that pit at a Blaze taking down Husey. Let's find the action. URL all by himself in that B site. He's going to have to rotate. He sees one towards CT spawn. He's going to try and get a pick down mid. Henry G down to 37 health. Obviously, that's not very good. Jono is going to give him some support with that Deagle. So it looks like Four Kings on a bit of a partial buy here. And Fnatic again taking it very slowly, trying to get a few picks at the start of the round and then see which direction they can make the push. And they're going to take their time here on the T side. The bomb is in the hands of Blaze. He's sat outside mid, so he reckons that Four Kings are going to go aggressive and we're probably going to see some action here. URL trying to get a pick with that up. Jono with one onto Arid. Can he make it a double? He's down to 74. He's going to have to retreat. And can Four Kings pull off this round and make it back to a four-point game? URL with a frag onto Darky. Big, important frag coming in. And now it is all up to the last two players from Fnatic, Blaze and Prof, who haven't oh. played that well in the second half. But Prof no. with one. Prof with a double. Two big frags coming in. Can he make it a third? He can't. Henry G is going to finish him off with a deagle. And now we're going to be back to a four-point game. We have had now oh. 20 rounds played. 12 to 8 is the score. Oh, actually, what am I on about? Blaze getting the bomb down. I do apologize. I thought that was the round, but it's not to be the case. Blaze only down to seven. And can he, well, win the round for Fnatic? I did get that one wrong there. I do he apologize. Actually, uh, managed to plant the bomb there with about a second remaining. So it was a almost mirror image of what URL did in the first half. But Blaze rotating back through the doorway here. They will have one man in towards the bomb site, looking towards the bomb and trying to flash him out with some fakes. But he hasn't managed to flash him out so far because he couldn't even know he was there. Blaze comes up with a brilliant shot. He only had seven health remaining. And Fnatic Blaze pulls off a stunning round win for Fnatic, clutches the round and moves them ever closer to victory in the grand final. It is 13 to 7 right now and they need just three more rounds. Indeed, a totally jinxed Four Kings there. They're probably going to hate me for that one. I did say it was 12-8. Not to be the case. 13-7 is the score on Fnatic in the driving seat here. Let's see what they're doing on the T side. Four Kings being quite, quite aggressive. They are on the buyer. You see Colts in the hands of Haz and a few of his friendlies. Jono there. Only with a Deagle, so he's going to have to defend that B bomb site with, well, a pistol, and it's not as good as a Colt. The rest of Fnatic again taking their time. They don't like to go in for the rush. They like to try and get a few picks, then rotate, fake, and move in. Airy down to 84, so he must have took some fire or a bit of HE damage. The rest of Fnatic down towards that middle site, the bomb just down there outside Long A. Blaze with one onto Husey, and off Fnatic now going to push. Blaze down at mid. Oh, you are with a lovely for mass kill coming in onto Blaze. So now it is a four to four situation. And can Four Kings get a round on the board? They need it so desperately. If the score goes 14 to seven, well, Fnatic will have doubled Four Kings' lead. Oh, well, not lead, Four Kings' score. And put themselves in the prime situation to walk away with that 2,000 pounds red. So you are around having got that frag through the middle area, backs away towards the B bomb site. Henry G setting himself up at AA as Haz is also down at Long A as well. Jono waiting, time ticking down. Shots are coming in here from Air Raid, coming back towards the A bomb site now. And a couple of grenades thrown across to the far side and flashes as well. They've managed to stack three men inside the bomb site. Henry G does pick off Air Raid though in the corner. Darky pops out. Henry uh, Haz gets another one this time in on Zersion. They're going to get the third one, are they? Darky's down to 27 health and will be shot down by Haz. And 4K do pick themselves up the round finally after two reasonably sloppy rounds, finally getting back into the game and pick themselves up their eighth round of the game. Five is the gap. Indeed, 13-8 score. Fnatic, three away from being the champions here at the I-Series. Of course, they won I-29 and they lost last year against MTW, who couldn't make it this year, which is a shame. But of course, plenty of competition and four oh. kings with two big frags, Blaze replying. So now it is, well, it's not anymore a four versus three because Blaze getting a second. I do believe it is a three. It is a three versus two in favor of Four Kings. The bomb going down by exertion. He's down to 22 health. He's going to probably watch from that window. 
Forkings now rotating to the speed bomb site. Flashes coming over the top. This is all up to Four Kings to win this round and Fnatic to lose their exertion down to 22. Blazeland tools down to 88. He's the last player alive for Fnatic and he's got, well, players coming from the front and the back. He is pretty much screwed. He's now going to be with oh. Heath drops him in the end. 13 to 9 is going to be the score. And Four Kings with two in a row and a bit of a man momentum, Red. Yeah, your house says my famous is always stuck on burst. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's the Lynx effect from URL. Spray more. Yeah, you got that one. Uh, Fnatic leading then, and going through their team. I don't know whether they were uh, actually on a full buy there or not, but they should be okay. To wait until they actually do switch to weapons. I think they have all AKs. Yeah, they did okay on that particular round. So Fnatic pushing forward with the bomb thrown down in B. The man here, Blaze, walking through the B corridor, is just going to try and potentially cause some diversionary shots towards that middle area. Hasn't managed to pull anyone out from 4K. They're all set right now. You're out through the middle. Henry G also coming back towards middle and checking. Back through CT spawn to check and make sure no one's coming back up long A. Has waiting in the bomb site as well. Jono just looking down. He's uh, taking a bit of damage from the grenade. There's a second grenade from Blaze. They get the entry kill they needed into the B bomb site. Counter flashes from both teams over the top of the wall. Air raid goes in. The bomb's going to get planted down as well. And they have control of the B bomb site now, Fnatic. And Four Kings now have an awful lot of work to try and get back into this round. If they're going to get underway, Prof though with a brilliant shot with the AWP on Juzi on the stairway. There's another one. URL coming back with the AWP of his own through the doorway. Four Kings uh, URL just waiting for anyone to come past that doorway. He sees another one by the car, picks him off in the corner of an air raid, comes back with a revenge frag, has now on the window, trying to get the final frag of the round. In fact, there's two of them remaining. Air raids one, there's another man just in front of him, and Prof will get the final kill with the pistol in on Haz. And Fnatic move to within two rounds of the championship here at I-31. 14-9 is the score. Top fraggers in the second half. URL 10-4. to four. Has 10 and 4 as well, actually. Henry G just behind 6 and 4. But for Fnatic, Blaze 7 to 7. And Darkie just behind 5 to 6. Let's see what the T's are doing once again. For Fnatic, of course, two rounds away from taking the check home here. And well, Four Kings have never beat Fnatic, I can tell you that. Fnatic will probably add another achievement to their list. And well, they won Land 79 in France a few months ago. They won the experience last week. And can they win this one as well? They did win the Euro Cup as well against Logitech. A few days ago, which and I pretty I did good broadcast. year all round, aren't they? They are. They're a fantastic team online and LAN, and I believe when they get to the CGS, well, they'll be one hell of a team, and they'll kick some ass. Fnatic now starting to make their push. They've took it very slow. Profs down mid, trying to get the pick. He's going to switch to that grenade. Blaze starts things off nicely for Fnatic. Henry G does get dropped. Now it is a five and four situation. As you see, Husey aggressive down at short. Plays down to 80, 89, so he did take some fire. And URL down to 25, so he's took a lot of hits. And Four Kings not shaping up very well here. And from this situation, five to four down, it's really looking like a fanatic round, isn't it? Four-man push through long A here. Blaze was the entry man. He didn't manage to find anyone at all in the pit, even though he flashed. And they've managed to break all the way along long A now towards the bomb site with four men. Smoke's gone down as well. Has picks off one through the smoke. Oh, Hughes, he'll get another one right on the bomb site as well. He gets a second. Air Raid finally dealing him a blow with the AK. And they have managed to get up towards the A bomb site now trying to get that bomb planted but Jono causing a distraction here with the Deagle in hand across from the blocks and her bomb does finally get planted Jono though firing off those shots finally gets shut down by Prof with the AWP Prof with the second one as well and that will be that there's just one man remaining which is Haz now who's come over the top of the wall he has got a chance here and he does manage to get the kill on an air raid and that's a fantastic couple of kills from Haz he'll go in and get the defuse here and 4k keep their hopes alive Indeed has, with the three man, so important late on here. Now the score's gonna be 14 to 10, and this one is pretty close. We've had 24 rounds, we're approaching the 25th, and Four Kings need to get a few more on the board here. It's pretty obvious if they wanna take this to another map. Of course, Four Kings coming from the lower bracket. This means they have to win two maps to win the I-Series here, the Counter-Strike Source Tournament, which they have uh, well, never done before, and Fnatic only needing the one map. If it does go to overtime, it's gonna be max rounds three, and start with 10,000. And if Four Kings win that, we're going to go to Inferno. And that will be absolutely classic. But at this rate, Fnatic 14 to 10 up with a four point advantage. I can just not see it happening, Red. Air Raid is uh, currently over in the B tunnels on his own and does have the bomb strapped to his back. So they're a bit of a risky move here. And I'm telling you why. If he gets gunned down there, they'll have to come around. They finally are rotating back through T spawn. So that was why he wasn't pushing through. Smoke has been deployed in that B corridor. And he's managed to get himself to the left-hand side of the box, which means that the AWP gunner 
presumably sitting in the corner, won't be able to spy him too well. I have seen plenty of shots through here, of course, of down players before. He makes his way forward now. There's a flash comes through. He counters. He has now two men for support just behind him. There's a third uh, rotating as well. Now makes the push. Oh, gets hit in the face by a smoke. There was a flash went out as well. He then fires off the, his own flash. Darky into the bomb side as well. Gets the kill and on URL. Darky's managed to push all the way behind the car here. And they've broken into this bomb site. They have control of it. Air Raid insertion come up with a pair of frags themselves. And Air Raid now with another one. Has finally decides he's had enough of this. He's now getting back into the game and has got a headshot in on Blaze, uh, Blaze. The bomb has been planted, but it's all down to one 4K player. And he's got a lot of work to do to try and get anything out of this round. Any kills he can get will be a bonus here. Can't get any though. Darky finally getting the final kill of the round. And Fnatic move to match point at I-31. I-31, Counter-Strike source point here. Can Fnatic add another achievement to their list? Well, their epic list It's about nine or 10 competitions long. They are one round away from taking away that £2,000. It's all up to four kings here. And it looks like they are on a deagle save round. Jono's going to go aggressive. Not when you want a deagle save round at all. Fnatic are going to try and get the picks. Let's see what four kings are doing with those deagles. Husey, he's going to be aggressive down short. Blaze trying to get a few picks. URL, well, he's sitting at mid like he has done the majority of the match. Henry G in the pit has watching long A there with the Deagle, and Fnatic again taking that very, very slow approach here. And it looks like, oh, ooh, a barrel just uh, going by there into that, uh, into that bomb site. Has with one onto exertion, so now it is a five and four. Can four kings do the unthinkable here and pull a few rounds back and take it to overtime? Fnatic area down to 18. Looks like the push is now coming in to the site red. And well, from this situation, four kings on a Deagle save, you definitely expect Fnatic to take this one and win the I-Series Counter-Strike Source tournament. Absolutely, Air Raid now waiting just outside the B tunnels, waiting for the push from the rest of the players. Darky rotating back through T-Spawn now with the bomb in hand to go towards the bomb at B tunnels right now and will join two men just in front of him. Now here comes the push, they push into that B bomb site right now. There's a Galil and has a one. Air Raid picks up the first frag into the bomb site. Blaze coming in with the second with the Galil. They've made their way past the doorway. Blaze with a third in a row. Bomb's gonna get planted here and it's all gonna be down to Husey and Henry G to rescue it for 4G and URL already calling it GG. Henry G now making his way back towards the B bomb site. Deagle in hand, still hasn't managed to pick himself up a gun. Darky with the kill. Last man standing will be Husey. He does have a, an AK in hand, but it's a big ask. It's a very big ask he gets one can't get the second one and Fnatic are crowned i31 champions